I'd like to thank everybody for coming, <laughs> for Brianna, for delivering such a powerful um, statement. That's going to be great to follow. And you too. Thank you for forgetting me. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Some they say that I ordered the assassination of political rival at the Red RV but where is the proof? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the blame for the execution of 3 million Kulaks and eventually 3.5 million more deaths or Kulak deaths that I made Kulak is being crushed onto my shoulders. But I implore you to place yourself in my shoes. I chose to step up and follow in the footsteps of a foot, foot, foot of a great man, Vladimir Lenin. I was a leader who wanted what was wanted what was best for my people and was willing to stop anyone who threatened that. It was under my leadership that the Soviet Union went on to achieve recognition as one of just two superpowers in the post-war era, a status that lasted for nearly four decades until the dissolution of the Soviet Union. I, I accomplished, I, I accomplished many great things during my reign, and while some, while some of them may appear controversial, I know that they never once compromised my integrity. I never inflicted punishment on the end of them may appear controversial. I know that they never once compromised my integrity. I never inflicted punishment on the innocent, and I should therefore not be punished for my work. industrialization caused many deaths of my people. Describe what you have to endure. When our land was taken away from us, it took away our pride and our voices. But forcing us to work on now government-owned state farms was the final straw. We resisted only to make him aware of his mistakes and to let him know that we the people are not happy with his choices. So his answer to our pleas for justice was to starve us until we succumbed to his dictori dictor dictatorial ways. Do you believe that there could be another alternative to promote industrialization in a manner that would harm the people of Russia to such an extent? Of course there are other ways. It was his job to find another way. As a leader, you are supposed to protect your people without doing any harm to them. If this is too much to ask, then there is no reason he should have ever darkened our nation with his presence. What did the Great Purge mean to you and how did it affect you? The Great Purge was when people, my people, who opposed Stalin were executed and it caused extreme fear amongst my people. Okay. How did this tie in with World War II? This tied in with World War II, um, <coughs> yes, it's horrible, just like World War II. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, how did World War II affect you? Well, World War II has affected me because um, once our people, the Russians, defeated the Germans, we um, obviously weren't under German rule. So um, it was fine, but yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Define communism. Communism. The um, dictionary. <laughs> definition of communism is the political theory or system in which all property and wealth is owned in a classless society by all the members of that society. All the members of that society. Do you believe that communism and its alleged benefits were justified by Stalin's tactics? No, communism and its benefits were absolutely not justified by Stalin's tactics. 
Bunk packets are brutal, horrible, and it caused many people great emotional distress. And yeah. did he fulfill the ideal of a perfect, peaceful, and a free utopian society? Not at all. <coughs> horrible. As a matter of fact, I don't have any faith in my government now. Thanks for telling.